Hello everyone. Do you have a lot of cherry tomatoes that are going to go bad if you don't do something with them? You've ate them, you've snacked on them, you've used them in recipes, and you just have too many. I'm going to show you how you can pickle them. You can pickle them and can them so they're preserved for a longer period of time, or you can pickle them for fridge safety for two months. I'm going to show you what you're going to do. Let's dive in. First things first, you are going to want to clean your cherry tomatoes. Now, I've got a lot of stems on these, so i got to kind of get the stems off. But first things first, you want them clean. Um, mine were sitting in a bowl. A couple went bad before I got to these. A couple of these are still not 100% ripe, but they'll ripen up. I'm just going to put them in here because they're starting to get to that point. But we got a lot of cherry tomatoes, as you can see. Let me... I thought I only had a handful. I had a lot more than I thought. But these guys got to get canned up because they're just going to go bad if they sit in a bowl. We don't eat them that fast. Um, we've snacked on a couple. But really, in all honesty, this stuff is all going to start going bad very quickly here. Gardens are great. The problem with the gardens is you do have to keep up on them because you will lose a lot of produce if you don't. Um, there's no point in putting all that work and time and energy into a garden if you're just going to throw away what you're producing. <laughs> so, plant what you're going to use, plant what you're willing to preserve, otherwise don't plant it because you're just, you're spending a lot of time and energy into something that's just going to go in the trash anyway. Or if you're going to donate it, that's always good too. I'm going to actually get these all, all the stems off and then I'm going to throw these into a um, vinegar water to clean them. Although these all came from my garden, I know there is nothing on them. Um, no pesticides, none of that. These are all 100% organic. Still like to clean them because you just never know. Once you got the stems off and it's all cleaned, you're just going to cut your tomatoes in half and put them into your jar. I'm trying to make this just a cold refrigerator use jar. We can use them on salads or just to snack on. So we're going to see if we can fit them all into this big jar. <laughs> You're cutting them so that the uh, pickling, flavoring, and everything can actually get into the tomato. You could you could leave them whole, but it won't penetrate as well. So you're just going to cut all these in half. Now, in these jars, you're going to add some, some thinly sliced yellow onion. Um, in the big jar, I'm doing two cloves of garlic, and the smaller ones, we're doing one clove of full garlic. Um, half a teaspoon of, um, <laughs> geez, I can't talk. Half a teaspoon of the black peppercorn whole in the big jar. I'm going to do a quarter of a teaspoon into the small jars. And a half a teaspoon of the mustard seed in the big jar, a quarter into the small jars. I'm just doing these for the, um, fridge. Just so they don't go bad, but you can can these. I'm not going to. My house is getting too hot. <laughs> and these will be used like in a salad or just a snack on. So there's your peppercorn. You could as well add um, dill. I don't have any dill, so I'm not adding it. Wow.
Now we need to make the brine. So for the brine, we need one cup of water, which I already have in the pot, one cup of white vinegar. Okay, kind of went a little over, but that's okay. Two tablespoons of sugar, which I cannot find my tablespoon, so we're gonna have to utilize our half a teaspoon, so bear with me. and one tablespoon of salt. A little bit more because I was missing the top half of that one. Now you're going to heat this up because you want it hot so it penetrates the vegetables. So we're gonna heat this up until it comes to a steady boil. Once it's boiling, we will dump it into those jars and those will go into the fridge. No need to boil those. But once oh your liquid is boiling, you're going to add it to your jar or jars. We may need to make another batch. <laughs> so I need to make a little bit more for that last jar. And then we're done. <laughs>